Hello and welcome to this reading, my beautiful Capricorn, my name is Heidi and uh, remember this is a general reading and I'm also channeling so I'll take how it resonates with you guys. This reading uh, is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. There is a decision that needs to be made. Perhaps taking a step back, uh, have a rest, slow down a little bit. Perhaps your someone from the past is coming back or you are looking at the past. Don't stay too long in the past. Yeah, taking a step back, you know, uh, seeing things from a different perspective. Yeah, getting the clarity you need. To, um, to move on, communication, um, creativity, <laughs> quick, fast movement, success. Alright, so what's up with you, Capricorn, from June 2023? So, from you, watch this video Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. I'm getting this opportunity, this turnaround gifts. There's something that um, I feel that under two of Wands. Yeah, there's a decision that needs to be made. Alright, guys, I apologize for that. of pentacles five of cups I'm not sure but if this uh, turned out um, upright or uh, reversed but getting this there is something around your workspace there is an opportunity there has been setbacks you know um, disappointments worries sleepless nights nightmares perhaps even and um, yeah should I stay or should I go in this happy home there are celebrations. Perhaps this talks about uh, retirement or starting on business. You know, you're taking, you're reflecting, taking a step back, and have a look, take a look at uh, your your experiences. You know, you how far have you come, and um, it's time to move on move away from this uh, all this sadness sorrows um worries and make this make a decision i'll clarify let me get all the cards out there uh, the wheel of fortune and the page of pentacles yeah there is a change the wheel of karma, the wheel of good uh, luck, good luck is spinning in your favor. Uh, yes, you know this opportunity, uh, something yeah you planted, you have planted the seeds, and now it's growing. It's kind of slow, so perhaps that's why you are worried. Or I'm also getting something is boring. Three of Pentacles, teamwork. I'm getting teamwork, learning. Yeah, I'm getting that. You should ask for help. Find people who share your vision and um, have the expertise, you know, have the knowledge, have the experience, perhaps more experience than you. Um, if you're starting this, you know, building this business. Um, yeah, 
perhaps there is more for you to learn, you know, planning. And um, there are some events that, that is coming up, celebrations. Yeah, I feel the, the energy of expanding and traveling. All right, and what you don't see coming? Celebrations. <laughs> yeah, socializing. Perhaps something heartbreaking too because you're leaving something behind. But you're getting the... It's very challenging. But you need to create this balance so you can get the victory. <laughs> so, can you please tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, have a rest. You need to slow down. You need to be calm. You know, take it easy. I'm getting, and nothing is wrong. Sometimes um, it takes time, and the solid foundation that you are building takes time. So, you know, easy come, easy go. <laughs> All right. So I really feel that you getting the blessings and and you'll get help you uh, you need if you ask you might um, you may ask the angels to help you with the helpful people I feel two things you need to have a rest and slow down and the other one I feel mm, yeah finally I can have a rest finally I can slow down and um, Focus on me. Again. I feel that it it's because of the decision that you need to make. So perhaps you know your worries is you know I feel this confusion could be in love because of love, um, feeling trapped, stuck in a relationship. But there is something you will get this um i'm getting this you will get this idea or or perhaps um a water sign is coming in or someone is coming in and offer their cup and you are so excited and so passionate and determined and now you know exactly what to do there's something confusing i really feel that is because in love you know or perhaps loving yourself uh, focusing on uh, yourself, your heart, what your heart desire, you know, confusion, seven of cups, feeling stuck, eight of swords, this, yes, very passionate about this, something heart related, and yes, expanding, <laughs> I was talking about expansion, even traveling, perhaps you're moving um, overseas, or so thinking about, uh, you know, traveling but uh, moving your business overseas and you're not sure which uh, direction yet or which opportunity because I feel that you will get more than one uh, on this uh, journey I feel that the old cycle has ended yeah, it's growing moment I feel that it kind of hurts because you're leaving, you're leaving something, someone, someone perhaps an old job or something, but, uh, and it's kind of painful, but you're so ready, everything is possible, so now you need to make a very detailed plan, <laughs> yeah, if you're not sure, yes, taking a step back, like I said, I feel that you're climbing up <laughs> to the top, yeah, just focus and Keep your eyes on the, the big picture and leave the details to others. Um, don't think about all the house. And I was feeling this anxiety, um, something perhaps even hidden. Yeah, there's something that you don't know yet, that you don't see. I know that you don't like planning and thinking things through, but it requires you to take a step back and make plans yes you're very passionate about your dreams your yeah what you hope for what your goal is perhaps some fire sign is coming in and i really feel that this is you 
the Hermit. Can you please give me one more? Okay. I'm getting a very good Taurus Leo. Yes, it's very challenging for you to do this. Perhaps uh, conflicts with others or within you. I'm not sure yet, but hey, um, winning at all costs. Well, you should really take, uh, choose your fights and leave this. You know, if this talks about arguments and fightings, you know, competition, um, it's heartbreaking, you know. And um, perhaps this new beginning, um, it hurts, I don't know, um, or if you're leaving, but, all right, yeah, so I feel that you're leaving this, um, or this, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the challenging situation, the competition, the arguments, the, the fighting, so whatever, you're leaving it. It's ending, I feel new beginning, a feeling, you know, fulfillment. Um, yeah, and perhaps you're not there yet, but that's why you need to make plans for the future, live in the moment, and um, don't stay too long in the past. Try to avoid thinking and talking about the past. Because it's, um, it, it creates this uh, blockage for you, so you can't move forward. If yeah, if you need to change something, if you don't want the, the past to repeat itself, you need to do some changes. You need to make a decision. I mean, if something resonates, uh, please leave a comment down below. I really want to know your story. Seven of Pentacles, and uh, all the time. You know, all the work, all the effort you have put into this, uh, whatever this talks about, uh, you know, work or a love relationship or any partnership. I feel I'm getting, I didn't think it through. But I have worked very hard, but it didn't go the way I hoped. For. You know, you're getting the job done and um, you're not into this planning and... Perhaps you should ask uh, for help to this um, for this planning session. <laughs> um, yeah, and it talks about perhaps practicing. Perhaps you are oriented to this um, very challenging um, sports or something that you're working on. feel that you're taking control over this situation, perhaps over your finances. There has been, um, like I said, setbacks at work or um, in what you have put a lot of work and effort into. And um, it talks about, I, feel, I really feel with this, um, where do you need to put, um, you establish better boundaries, you know, what you need to cut out, you know, in your life. That doesn't serve you anymore. And I feel that perhaps someone is coming in, a near sign or something, is helping you. And it's the end of the frustration. The, I, feel, I almost feel backstabbed. Um, but there is a new beginning, you know. You're working, you're very focused, and now you're working on something that you love doing, you know. I feel that this person is helping you to see giving you, helping you to, to get this clarity and, you know, on what you should do, what your next step should be, perhaps, if you're not sure. All right, um, the Five of Cups. Perhaps you felt a little, um, a bit disappointed. If you're too much in the, you know, negative thinking, you, do, you will not see the other opportunities that is... Uh, right in fr at front of you there is more than one opportunity um, perhaps that you don't see and yeah it frustrates you so 
That's why you need to slow down and be patient. Perhaps someone is struggling with addictions or obsessions or, you know, perhaps a workaholic and um, try to maintain this happy, happy home. But there is a change, a big change that is coming in. It's time to wake up to a new life. Surrender to change I'm getting. But here you are. You're very disappointed or but this time I feel with the Ten of Cups, I really feel that they are celebrating you this time. That you're getting the, the victory, the fulfillment. <laughs> Feeling good. Um, yeah. Alright. Ten of Cups. Ten, ten. And ten, ten, ten. Number ten um, stands for endings and beginnings. of uh, cups and the sun yes happy home I'm getting this healing joy playful yes having fun celebrations gifts perhaps someone some of you are getting married <laughs> yeah, the ton of cups is uh, clarified by the Six of Cups, and um, the Six of Cups um, represents uh, innocence, uh, nostalgia, and um, memories. Um, it carries a message of an upcoming re reunion with someone from the past. It could be, it can also signify happiness, childhood, playfulness, and joy. <laughs> yes, you may be feeling sentimental or longing for simpler times if you're facing challenges the six of cups advises you to find comfort in your nostalgia and connect with your inner child yes embrace your inner child and the the ten of cups you got it twice yeah this talks about also talks about happiness contentment and fulfillment it signifies a harmonious and joyous home life as well as a deep sense of emotional satisfaction. So I'm getting this happy reunion with a family or friends. It is also a reminder uh, that the simple pleasures in life, such as spending time with family and friends, are what truly bring happiness and fulfillment. So I'm getting this happy, happy home. <laughs> Yes, embrace it in a child. I'm getting playfulness, fun, joy, yeah, healing. Wow. All right, I'm the wheel. Yeah, it will be a change, you know. I feel the change uh, when it comes to giving and receiving, balance, you know, harmony. And um, you really need to create this. Uh, balance um, so you can get this you know balanced harmonious relationship yeah um the wheel of fortune can change at any moment you know the wheel of fortune symbolizes destiny change and luck it teaches us to that everything in life is in constant motion and every situation is temporary i feel that this is a sign that changes on the horizon this can change, this change can be positive or negative. It's out of our control. The card is a reminder to flow with the natural cycles of life and to trust that everything happens for a reason. Yes, and the six of pentacles in all generosity, charity and gratitude. And um, it teaches us that the wealth is not just about our material possessions, but also about our willingness to share what we have with others. So it is a reminder to be generous with our time, resources and knowledge. It is a sign of good karma and that the universe will reward us for our kindness and generosity. It's a very powerful 
combination of destiny and generosity, I feel. Yeah, so be prepared for change. So this talks about a turning point in your life. It is a time to be open to new opportunities while also you being generous with what you have. It is also a reminder that the universe rewards those who give back to others and that our actions have a ripple effect on our lives. It's really important to have this balance between giving and receiving. It doesn't have to be only with your finances, um, but your time, you know, your knowledge, all the effort you put in. Um, I'm getting this increase in finances, or perhaps another person is coming in, another earth sign, who have all the resources you need. Oh, you're very passionate about this. Yeah, so surrender to change. Surrender to change I'm getting. Yeah, it's kind of boring. You need to cut out. Yes. All right. Yeah, I really feel that this is you. Or I feel the increase in money. And feeling the safety. The... Um, Stability and freedom, feeling independent and free, <laughs> Harm harmony, <laughs> joy, and I feel happy. I'm getting this planning and um, learning and building something, something you will love. Um, this opportunity, you will love this cup. Yeah, it's giving you this. The inner strength, you know, you have the inner strength and feel that it um, is helping you to build up your self-confidence and I'm also getting healing, still getting healing. Well, you will feel so confident and determined and passionate about this. Perhaps Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, you are following your dreams. <laughs> yes, there is something that you're turning back on to. Perhaps love. There's something that you're leaving behind. Eight of Cups. Perhaps the, the way, you know, there is something around this that you are turning your back onto emotionally, but you are practicing, you are working, you are very focused. Yeah, you need to make a decision, getting this balance and healing. I feel that some of you are being guided. All right, now, if, now let me ask the Archangels before, and Romans Tarot before I close this reading. What's the message for June 2023? Seven of Ariel is the same as uh, Seven of Pentacles. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. <laughs> Queen of Michael is the same as Queen of Swords. You know exactly what to do. Yeah, yeah, I told you. <laughs> the benefit of experience. A time for your career. Career rather than relationships. Yes, it's time, honey. And the bottom of this deck. Page of Raphael is the same as Page of Cups. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations great intuitive insights yeah mm. yeah i told you um i was talking about some events or something that is coming up celebrations all right what about love what's the message Thank you. 
worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Beautiful. Playfulness. <laughs> yeah, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And release your eggs. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, if you're still dealing with your ex, it's time to, to do that, honey. And let your friends help you, I told you. <laughs> Ask for and accept support from others. All right, beautiful. And uh, the bottom of this deck, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, it's time to, to uh, take a time out, you know, have a rest. All right, my love, I hope that some of it resonated. If not, please check out one of my other videos. Yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.